The Birch Street Covenant Shook, but it's seen Cousin the Hull. Now, this is our chance, let's get inside. Come on, don't get back. Is everyone inside? I think so. Wait, look, who's that? Where? Over there, it's Miss Moore. What's she doing? Trying to get everyone in, I suppose. She needs to get in. The tree's not going to hold. And it didn't. It disappeared through the tail of the flock. Miss Moore full of clothes pine, frock gone. All of this on a Tuesday lunchtime. It was really, really weird. The teachers, those that were left, were wide eyed and ashen as they ushered us along to the assembly hall. Even Mr. Chandra, who's always bragging about the time he dodged a stampeding cow. A stampeding cow? Yeah, he was on holiday. Anyway, you're still blinking and shivering in the halls and called the registers. Joey? Here. Yeah. Evie? Here. Mac? Here. Frankie? Here. Yasmin? Here. Leon? Leon. Mrs. Turner took our class register because Mr. Humphreys was gone. Last seen spinning up through the sky. I was going to have to take him over later. Not anymore. Chloe? Here. Billy? Here. Ash? Here. Hang on, hang on. You're... You're... No! No! Stop copying me! Stop copying me! Why do you look the same as me? And it's you who looks the same as me. Freckles. Here, here, here. One key is trying to hide them under your hair. Can you do that thing with your little finger? Yeah. You got a scar on your knee? Yeah. I'm falling off your bike? Yeah, it hurt. Really hurt. What's your favourite Chris? Picked on your mum's bunch. What's your favourite colour? Green. Have you got a dog? A cat. Cool Daryl. Cool. Two identical people. One who hadn't been here before the sky tore in two. And as the sky swirled outside and the window shook, we looked around and realised that this was only the start of it. There was yeah. at least one teacher and quite a few students that I didn't know. It's a big school. We don't all know everyone. But these kids, no one knew them. No one. And then there were the ones we did know. Classmates, teammates, friends, who dressed differently, acted differently, were just being different. That was weird. Sorry? That, out there. One minute we were talking to Em, and then it's the ground that was up. The ground? Yeah. I'm sorry, but why are you talking to each other? Like, we're best friends. No, we're not! We haven't spoken since juniors. What? And slowly, the whole split into two, split into us and them. Faces that were the same as ours, but not us. Faces that we didn't know, that we've never seen before. Faces that we did know, but were different, we stared. Blinked. Smiles. Frowned at each other from across the hall. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? We, we are first. What's going on? You tell us. We don't know. One minute there was a, an earthquake or a zigzag across the schoolyard. A crack opened up. We got dragged towards it and pulled through. The ground didn't open. The sky opened. The ground. The sky. The ground. The sky. The just really thought things didn't get any more bizarre. You haven't said my name, miss. Who said that? Me. You haven't said me. I'm here. Sam? Billy, I'm so glad you're okay. Sam, is that you? I'm scared. What's going on? It's you. Is that? It can't be. It is. I don't believe it. It's not possible. She's right there. But how? Who is it? Billy says for Sam. Sam, we died last year because the driver was texting. This can't be happening. What if we're all dead? I don't think so. Is this heaven? I hope not. We're not all dead. Good. It's obvious what's happened, really. Is it? Parallel universes. What? Parallel universes. In our world and their world collided. What else could it be? I've been waiting for something like this to happen. I'm surprised it's taken so long. The signs have been building up for a while. Have they? Of course. Like what signs? The friction between the different universes, piling up on each other. It's also been causing a build-up of radiation. Obviously. We're just making people more... We're just making people act to it, make odd decisions. Isn't that just everyone with the time, though? Okay. Making people act weirder than all. Making odd decisions. Getting more, make, getting more irritated and angry with each other. An increase in anxiety and depression. Headaches? Yeah. Being tired but now not able to sleep? Yeah. I knew it. It's all a bit of a relief, really. It's good to know there's a reason for it all. I was worried we were all just going mad. Me too. I'm Alex, by the way. Jay. Are you from my birth? Yeah. But you knew this was coming too? I knew something was going on, but no one would listen to me. Sorry to interrupt, but there's no such thing as <coughs> parallel universes. Yes, yes there, there is. is. Yeah, says who? Me. Us. Isn't the fact that all this is happening all the proof you need? I don't understand. Me neither. It's just stupid. No, it's not. There's loads of theories about parallel universes. 
what they are, where they are, if they are. Some people say that deja vu is evidence of parallel, parallel universes or All the Mandela effect. The what effect? People en masse remembering things differently. Google it. I'm still confused. Okay. Clearly what has happened is the new people, the doubles, the different people, our universe and their, their universe have declined, which has caused the tear. As simple as that. Why not? Here, the tear is in the sky, people got pulled up and out. There, the tear is in the ground and people got, got sucked down and in. But in all the chaos and everyone whizzing around the sky, we didn't realise at first that people were falling into our universe too. Exactly. But how are there different universes? Where do they come from? That's the question. I'm sure between us, two heads are better than one. Yeah, okay. We should start by making a list, working out who is where. That's exactly what I was going to suggest. So first, who's missing from this universe? Miss Moles. Mr Humphreys. Half the level team. A whole load of year nines. Has anyone seen Ali running? They usually glue to you. Where you are, they are. Exactly, so where are they? Where have you looked? All over. They've gone. I know that. Where? Where do you think? No. I saw them, they spiraled up into the sky, around and around each other so fast I couldn't tell which anymore. Higher and higher than they've gone. But what about me? You'd rather be up there. But no, it depends what it's like. They're going to wait Charles there, they're going to be lost awesome about me. They've got each other, who've you got that? What do you mean? Loads of people, everyone knows me. Well, I'm the only one who knows you. Well, you're the only one who knows me. 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 Well, you that cardigan kind of is definitely from another world. There's Ash and Other Ash. Can you not call me Other Ash? My name's Magpie. Why do they call you that? No one calls me Magpie because I like shiny things. <laughs> what? My granddad called me once as a joke, but it stuck. I don't get it. I take things sometimes. Things that aren't necessarily mine. You, you steal things. Just little things. Nothing big. And actually, it's not even accurate, because I like, use it and magpies are scared of shiny objects, so yeah. What kind of things do you steal? Sweets, crisps, human makeup, anything. Nothing big, everyone does it. I don't. Don't look at me like that. Is there anyone else from up there? Uh, Willie's sister, Sam. Yes. Sam would go here, but not up there. Is that everyone? Well, there's you. Me, yes. And um, although we're not doubles like Ash and Magpie, or related to that Billy and Sam, there are definitely some similarities between us. Definitely. Have you lived around here for long? My whole life, you? Just moved in last year and my man got a new job. What's your mouth called? Sue. What's your dad called? Tony. Yours? I don't know my dad. And you know, one of these girls and one of these boys. So? So the chance of which sperm is the fastest that decide yourself. In this universe, the sperm carry an X chromosome got to the egg first. In my universe, the Y chromosome. That's all it is. While we tried to figure out what was going on, the sky continued to swell and churn, changing colours like a fruit. No one knew fell in though. We all figured it they didn't cover too. We could capture the flu we could capture the flicker of blue lights flashing in the distance. But no one came to help us. Why is no one come to help us? How can they? Anybody who comes near will get sucked through the tear. Oh, my friend's totally dead. Is anyone staying to argue? No. No. There's no doll tones or wiper or anything. This is an actual nightmare. Do you think this is just happening here or everywhere? I don't know. I hope my brother's okay. I hope my dad's okay. I hope my stepsister's okay. I hope my mom's okay. I hope my nan's okay. I hope my house is okay. The there there must seem right. We were all just scared. Confused. Hungry. The two sides merged. We chatted. Laughed. Worries. Hoped. Waited. All we could do was wait. You. You. Me? Yes, you. I don't know. Are you not that? Yeah. Why did you sleep up and now see the last fall through? Uh -huh. Did you really fall from another universe? Uh, I suppose so. What's that? It's an orange. A what? An orange. What's that? Like a fruit. A what? It's, it's good for you. What does an orange taste like? Kind of tastes like an, an, an orange. <laughs> like chicken? No. Like licorice? No. Like cabbage? No. That's a shame. Sorry? I'm joking with you, stupid. I want oranges. 
are you holding it? Oh, it's all I've got from up there. You'll get sorted out. They'll find ways to bring you back. I don't know if I want to go back. Why is that? Well, you know when you want the ground to open up and just swallow you up? Yeah. It did, and it was great. What were you doing when it happened? Eating my lunch behind, uh, behind the new science block. What new science block? Oh, our school has a new science block. Ours does, and mind you, I hate science. I've been off school for ages with glandular fever. When I came back, Mr. Simmons made everyone turn around and say, Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back, Cam! He's horrible, Mr. Simmons. I hate him. Do you have him here? Yeah. Well, what's he like? Horrible. So, I turned around and smiled, but tried to. Sometimes in photos, it just looks like I'm having a really difficult poo when I try to smile. I look great in photos. The morning dragged so slowly, but then it was lunchtime. That's when they came around for me. What are you doing? Having my lunch? What are you having around here? Don't know. What, do you think you're two bits of the rest of us? No. Have you got any crisps? I'm not allowed crisps. Why not? Mum says. Mum says. I've got an orange. Go on, go and get it then. It, it doesn't matter. Of course it does, it's your lunch. Let me throw it down the off. Please, just, just leave me alone. I'm not doing anything. It's not running into one. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You've had this coming for ages. So, so far. That's when the ground started to shake and shudder. What's happening? It must have been right below me. I kept falling because I thought they'd push me over, but then I just kept falling and falling and falling. Legs straight, arms by my side, like that time I went down the log flume at Alton Towers. Then it was just blackness all around me until it spat me out and I landed in the schoolyard. Just me though, not them. Then something landed on my head and dropped with a thud beside me. It was my orange. What are you looking at? Really, you can sit with me. No one sit with me, I don't know. Are you warm enough? Yeah. Are you hungry? No. Pasty? No. Do you need the toilet? I'm not a baby. If I need to go to the toilet now, go to the toilet. Sorry. I just want to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Where are you going? Nowhere. My foot's gone to sleep. It's okay? Yeah, it's just from pins and needles. It's horrible. Sam? What? When Mam sees you, she's going to, I don't know, probably low. Yeah. I swear. No. It's funny, I only just saw her this morning. It's been nearly a year since we saw you. Sam. What? I love you. What? I love you. I want you to know that. Okay. I always wish I told you I love you more often. Every day. And I left up to the cage over that time we escaped. But I let a man blame you. I knew it. Sorry. You don't need to say sorry. I do though. I was not bad about that. She really shouted at you. I know, but it wasn't. It was. I just said I was feeling him. I didn't know it's not. No, I mean it was my feeling, not you. Oh. I'm not being nasty. I know. Are you crying? No. Sorry. Oi, be careful. I'm sorry. Well, which way you're going? No, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. She's barging around like an idiot, like she owns the place. That's enough. I'm sorry about you. Don't apologise to me. You do it then. He doesn't have to. He does. Sorry. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry who? What? I don't know. I don't know who this is. Don't you? Oh, you're from up there too? Uh, sorry, I didn't realise. What's your name? Frankie. Sorry, I didn't recognise you. Not that I know everyone. It's a bit school. Quite a few of us have through, isn't there? Do you think it smells different here? <laughs> I don't know. A bit? I do. A bad smell? No, just different. I like wouldn't go around to a friend's. The house smells different. Not bad, just different to your own house. I'm sorry you don't like the way you smell. I didn't say that! He's in a mood. Why? Because I didn't turn my love down. Why didn't you say it? Because I don't. I love Billy. My Billy. But he, he isn't him. And I'm sorry he has sound alive, but the things that happen here, they're not my problem. They're not our problem, are they? Mr. Sharp, I'm taking Christmas if you can't hear the snaps. I saved your space in the first group. Are you coming, Frankie? I only saved one space. It's fine. I can wait. See you in a bit then. Okay, you're not my problem. You're not my problem. Um, hi, I'm Frankie. Are the Frankie from up there? Can I sit with you? I'm hungry. It'll be out soon. 
But I'm hungry now. Let's eat your orange. I don't know. Just holding it isn't helping anyone. Oh, it's so rotten inside. Your mom's giving you rotten oranges to eat. No. It stinks. Don't throw it away. Where are your friends, Mac? You know, they got pulled up. I don't think I've ever seen you by yourself before. Unlike you now, I have friends. I've got friends too. Wow. Well, here? I think you know them. You've made their lives miserable for years. No, I haven't. You've made my life miserable. It's not my fault you're such a loser. Yeah, can you all take a step back, please? You're not so brave while I'm even Remy here, are you? Leave her. Leave her! Get lost. Leave her. What do you care? You don't know what she's like. And that makes you just as bad. You know what? It would do her good to be able to receive her for once. Maybe they should think twice before she says or does something nasty. How bad is she? The worst. Sam, I'm not. They're just soft. I can't take a joke. This is our only child. Too scared to take me on the wall, then. No, you've always got your sidekicks with you. They're my friends. They're as scared of you as we are. No, they're not. I bet they're glad to be up there, away from you. Don't say that. What do you say, Cam? I don't know. No. Too late. Miss! Miss! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't take it long. I know what it's like being one against many, you know, with angry eyes and intense faces. I wasn't bothered. You looked bothered. How come you sign up to them, but then you hide around the science block up there? It's different. No, it's not. You could just say sorry. I don't know if this is really obvious, but why don't we just go outside? What? Us lot from up there, why don't we go outside and get sucked back up into our universe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on then, let's go. Wait. Wait, wait, you can't just go outside and get pulled back up. Why not? Who knows where it end up? Yes, yeah, Sam, it's not safe. We end up back home. Not necessarily. If the universe is arc colliding, there could be tears all over. They could be moving and shifting. You could get sucked up and end up in a universe where the dinosaurs would have made extinct. Or we're just completely submerged in water. Or we might end up back home. Are you willing to take risks? And if that's the case, why haven't the people from down here jump back yet? Or maybe they tried and got stuck in some universe where cats make all the rules and keep humans as pets. I don't want to be a cat's pet, but I wouldn't mind seeing the dinosaurs. Let's all just wait until I work something better up. Come here! What? Here! Where did you get that? Everyone's bags are just laying around. No one's paying attention. You mean you stole it all? Yeah. It was easy. You should put it back. Why? I thought you'd be pleased. Why would I be pleased? I thought we'd be fun. Was it? No, now it isn't. You spoiled it. You don't want to be like me, Ash. You're good. People like you. Respect you. I'm boring. I'm jealous of boring. Being boring means your parents think look so tired and disagreed all the time. Being boring means my parents expect everything to be perfect. Top of the class, good at everything. First thing I saw was two eyeshadows and a blush from Topshop. I was with my friend, Katie. She took a denim jacket and walked out with wearing it. I was too scared to see the reasons that big. When we got outside, the security guard did. Katie legged it, but I was too slow. I called me and ran back inside and ran my number. I remember Katie. Yeah? Her and her dad moved away years ago. But I remember we used to go to town every Saturday. She was always trying to get me to mix stuff. You didn't though? No. I did. Mum came. She kept saying, why did I do it? You know, I didn't have to steal. Shopping with the police. Mum took me home and grabbed me. That time that we spent from the shop to home, it was the most time we spent together in ages, and I liked it. I kept stealing. Sometimes I'd get away with it, sometimes I wouldn't. When I get cool, Mum and Dad would both of them become the enemy. They don't now, though. I've given up. But I can't stop myself because maybe, maybe next time I do something wrong or bunker school, they'll be bothered again. I'd love my parents to be bothered about what I do. To leave me alone. You wouldn't if it happened. Were they nice? Do you have a the blusher? No. Horrible. You can still change. I know. Do you want to? I think so. I don't really like who I am. I don't think we're meant to. Are we? Not yet. Oi, Ash! I saw my bag! Give me back my money! I haven't got your money! I saw you! It was her! What? No, it wasn't. Her. It was her! It was her! I don't know which one's which! She took it! Magpie! The clue's in the name! Don't do this, Ash! She stole your money, Lou! I told her! Good! You lot! Look at them! You can't be trusted! And so it started. The divide. It's just sus suspicion. Accusation. I got money missing too! And me! I'm on my phone! 
Allison. She needs to be separated from the rest of us. I didn't take your stuff. Ash said she did. She's lying. Ash isn't like that. She would never lie. Put the magpie in the classroom on her own, sir says. Sir says you're to sit in there on your own and he'll stand outside guard. The kids started to cry that they wanted to go home. It was really, really sad. It was really annoying. <laughs> we were all getting tired. Cold. Bored. Scared that things weren't going to stop, that things weren't going to go back to normal. The number of people were up, and it wasn't exciting anymore. These people, these strangers, outsiders, aliens, asking so many questions, looking lost, moaning, complaining, eating our snacks and drinking our drinks. How long are they going to be here? Are they going to have to come home with us because we haven't got any room? What about the new ones? Where will they go? What will I tell Annie and Remy's parents about where they've gone? Are they going to be treating them well up there? Will we all not be treating them well? Are they what? Why do I have to find out for you? Why else? I just want things to go back to normal. <coughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> you don't sound okay. I just got a tickle in my throat. But then they all started. Just a little at first. A tickle in her throat, but then it didn't stop. <coughs> and then another started. <coughs> and then another. <coughs> and another. <coughs> and another. And then all of them come up there, <coughs> coughing and coughing and coughing. I'll get you some water. <coughs> <coughs> I'm afraid this might happen. Me too. What's going on? Our atmosphere. It isn't even I was just going to say that. I know. Then why did you butt in? You never let me do this phone. I do? No. <coughs> there you go. It's always I with you. I did this. I worked this out. It's never we. Sorry, I'm not used to working with someone else. <coughs> Neither am I, but it's nice to work with someone who gets it like I do. Don't you think? I don't know. It's different. Fine. Go ahead. What? Explain it. You tell everyone what's going on, and then you solve the problem if your surname. <laughs> Jay! Our atmosphere and their atmosphere have exactly the same nature of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. It's pretty unlikely. Similar, maybe, but not the same. <coughs> Something in our atmosphere isn't compatible. <coughs> Bad for people. Are they going to be okay? I don't know. Are they going to rot like hands are? I don't know. What's the atmosphere like about that? I don't know. Are our people going to be okay? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? <coughs> Here you go. Thanks. What's this? What? On your arm, let me see. It's a rash. All red spots on your arm. Does it hurt? It's itchy. Really itchy. You're having an allergic reaction. Something in our air is irritating your skin. A rash <coughs> is worse than a cough. A rash is contagious. Are we going to catch it? Probably not. Probably we are very certain. <coughs> are you sure? Well, no. She said we are going to catch it. She didn't. She said it's contagious. I didn't. It's definitely contagious. Stay away. Move away! Get over there, further! <coughs> help me! Don't touch me. I, I helped you. So? Further! 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 <coughs> you two, Frankie, get over there where you belong. I'm not one of them. Yes, you are. I'm not. You said you are. I lied. I'm here, Frankie. Not there, Frankie. I'm from here. There is no here, Frankie. Yes, there is. Just none of you live to see. If you were really from up there, then why would if you were really from up down here, then why would you say you were up from up there? For a fresh start. <coughs> what? A do over. You don't know me because I'm not school so much looking after my dad. He needs so much help. I do I look after him and my little brother. I do the washing, shopping, cooking, cleaning, all of it. And no matter how hard I try, there's always more to do. It just never stops. I love my dad, I do. And I know it's not his fault. But when you thought it was from up there, it was such a weight off my shoulders. Other friend doesn't have all that responsibility. She said, Sam, she said it's not my problem. I just want it to be not my problem. Just for a little bit, just so I can have a rest. I'm so sorry, Frankie. I don't believe her. What? That's what I lied to say. I'm not lying, please. I believe her. So, uh, I do. Me neither. And do we really want to take the rest? <coughs> I'll get you some more water. <coughs> Let me pass. No, you might have it, you might spread it. I haven't. You might. I can't let a guy get you have to let me through. Try not to scratch it, you're making it bleed. Tell me the story about the chicken. 
What? Sorry, my head's been <coughs> My mum, she used to tell me in my good a story about a chicken. About a chicken they felt cooped up when they were on an eggs on holiday? Yeah, that's it. Tell it to me. <coughs> it was silly. For baby. Please. I don't know if I can remember it very Just well. Just try. It was a cold and rainy day on the farm. On Sunnydale Farm? Yes, Sunnydale <coughs> Farm. It was cold and rainy, but out of the field, Father Giles was. <coughs> I don't know what to do. What do we do? We can't just sit here doing nothing. He's right, we have to do something. But what? Can't find the first time. Where is it? Can I see it? <coughs> what do oranges contain? Vitamin C. What does vitamin C do? Fights infections. Yes, fights infections. Go into the kitchen to find anything full of vitamin C. Oranges, cauliflower, broccoli. Sprouts. No, Brussels sprouts. Yes, Brussels sprouts. Go on, quickly. Not all of it, though. We need to keep some back for us, just in case. <coughs> <coughs> the fruit worked. A bit. It kept them up. A bit. Well, they were still coughing. Still out of breath. We need to go home, and quickly. Jane, <coughs> can you help me with this? I really need to help you with this. We can all help. Right, let's go back to the start. What do we know? For sure. That there's another universe with different versions of us in it. Or people we lost here. That's right. <clears throat> Mike Pye stole something. Ash didn't. A driver texted. A driver didn't. A school building science block. A school didn't. Our mum met my dad. Our mum met someone else. And so on. Different outcomes from different choices. And for each choice we make, a, u a new universe created in its own space and time. So, how does it help us now? Can we undo what we did today? The choice we made? Stop it all from happening? How? I don't know. It's not what we did that matters. It's what, what we, we do, do now. now. And they're going to be standing here separately glaring at each other. He's right. It needs all of us. Together. We've got all the whiteboards up nearby parsons and put them around the hall. We've got all the bunch of burners and microscopes. What would it be out of some guys? Fine, loading books too. Fiction, non-fiction, just reading the right ideas. Crash maps. Music stands. One of the clicking wheels left in distance. Everything you can find to try to help us work out what to do. But if there are dinosaurs or giant cats, that way the other person isn't stuck on the other side. No, 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 no. Has anyone got a better idea? <laughs> okay, we'll make the chain and I'll go through. No, no, I'll go through. I let my dad down. I have brother wanting to be away from them. I'll do it. It's the least I can do. Frankie, well, dad needs you. I've got brother. Who can risk it? We all have people who need us, who will miss us. I'll do it. Why? It's the least I can do. What do you mean? Magpie news.